the Soundpiece True Engine SE. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we will take a look at the Soundpiece True Engine SE. They feature a dual dynamic driver design. I will go over specs, features, provide music and microphone samples, then give my thoughts. I have included the link in the description below for the product. If you are new to my channel or have been here before, thanks for taking the time to watch. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. So let's take a look. Inside it comes with a user guide, micro USB cable for charging, and small, medium, large ear tips. The Soundpiece True Engine SE features 6 hours of listening time, 27 hours with the case. It has dual dynamic drivers and crossovers, uses Bluetooth 5.0 and the Qualcomm QCC3020 chipset, aptX SBC codec and CVC for noise reduction, button controls, micro USB for charging, and it's IPX5 sweat and water resistant. The case has a matte finish with a grippy feel to it. It's very light and you can see the Soundpiece branding on the top. On the front of the case, you have the status LED. And on the back is a micro USB charge port. The lid is magnetic and it has a nice snap when it opens and closes. The earbuds are firmly secured inside and they are easy to remove. The earbuds have a nice ergonomic shape to them. The finish is just like the case, it's matte with a rubbery feel to it. The side has the ear indicator markings and you can see the transparent housing for the drivers. On the outer face, it utilizes button controls to navigate. Each of the earbuds feature charging contacts, interchangeable ear tips, LED, and button control. And here they are side by side. The case comes in at 2.8 by 1.6 by 1.3 inches. It weighs in at 43 grams and the earbuds come in at roughly 10 grams. Now for some music samples. This will give you a sense on how they sound like. It is not a full representation of the overall sounds as there is no replacements for actually having them on. It will then be followed by a microphone sample. Now for a microphone sample in a noisy setting. This is a test of the Southpeach True Engine SD microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. The microphone comes in a bit low for my liking during calls. You can use the earbuds independently, left or right side. Pairing was instant and I had no issues. 
When testing video on an iOS device, I didn't experience any noticeable latency. Range was also stable as I tested in a 1400 square feet setting. Here are my thoughts on the Soundpeats True Engine SE. And sound can be subjective as everyone enjoys different types of sound signatures. I found them to be comfortable and the design fits well in my ears. I didn't feel excessive pressure in my ear canals. They form a nice seal and it had no issues staying into place while running. Build and quality is solid. The case is light and has a nice grip to it. Earbuds also feel solid and has a nice ergonomic design. The button controls are responsive and it doesn't require a hard press to activate. They don't really protrude out as much compared to other earbuds. Now when it comes to sound, I feel that the True Engine SE delivers. The dual driver design provides that separation with the lows, mids, and highs. The bass comes in tight and on point. Not overwhelming, but just enough. Mids and highs also come in very clean and clear. There is good separation and vocals really stand out and are crisp. There is also good detail throughout and it's pretty accurate. Nothing gets distorted and you can definitely listen at a high volume. I would describe the overall experience as clean and crisp. It does well with various music genres, especially pop, EDM, and alternative. These have terrific value at the price point. With the exception of the call quality, everything else delivers. So that is my review of the Soundpeats True Engine SE. If you liked my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.